issue in your business is you. And here's why. Many of my clients who are small business owners, they have this idea. And this idea they want to turn into a business so they can make a living doing this thing that they love. And it might have started from a hobby, uh, something they're good at, or just something they've you know, been interested in, they can make, or they have a, 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 a skill they can turn to a service, whatever it might be. But they have this thing that makes them really happy. So, of course, let's make money from it. Brilliant. Start the business. But a business is different to a hobby. A lot of people do it out of frustration from their old job, you know, because they're burnt out. The, the, the shitty managers, the shitty bosses in the old job push and push and push to eventually they push you out. But you're easily replaced and that manager, that boss isn't going to, you know, be asked about making a change. <clears throat> you're different now. So you've got this business up and running. You've employed a few people, maybe you've got a premises, you've bought all the equipment you need. Brilliant, off we go. But you can't get out of that mindset of being a worker. You've got to do everything in your business. So then what's the point in having a team around you? Now, that team of people need to do the jobs that you don't need to do. They're not there just to, I don't know, do bits. They're there to do the bits you don't need to do. So you can focus, as the business owner, on the bits you need to do. Marketing. If you shit at it, such as myself, give it someone else to do. Whether you have to pay someone to do it, or you can, well, I mean, you have to pay someone regardless, but... What I mean is outsource it to another company or you employ somebody who's good at it, who enjoys it, who knows how to sell, who can, you know, do all that advertise. Uh, design work. If you're now good at that, pay somebody else to do it. And now I know what you're going to say. Well, I can't afford it. I'm a new business owner. I haven't got that money. Well, you probably did have, but you've pissed it up the wall with things you didn't probably need to spend it on because you've been trying to do it yourself rather than investing in somebody that already knows what to do, which may seem a bigger uh, spend at the time, but it won't be in the long run. It's an investment. And of course, if that person turns out to be a load of shit, get rid, get somebody else in. Well, what's your leadership skills like? How many jobs have you had? You piss poor managers that have only got there because of time spent in the company. They're not leaders. All they're bothered about is the higher wage that they get in the end of the week or the end of the month give a shit about you, they couldn't really give a shit about the company. They make out that they do care about the company, but they don't. They just want their asses tickled with a nice little feather that the person right at the top can give them. That person becomes hated by the workforce. Do you want to be that person in your team? I don't think you do. But you can go the other way too friendly and of course if you're only paying minimum wage and stuff like that people take the thing of minimum wage minimum effort okay fair enough if you're paid to just do a simple task do that simple task but do that simple task well pay somebody else to do the next task the next task the next task it's business welcome when I started doing this, I started it to be a therapist, to help people who was in the same situation I was in. Quickly found out that the therapy side of it is a very small part of my business. 
Did I ever think I was going to be on YouTube? Nope. TikTok? Nope. Doing Facebook Lives every week? Nope. Did I want to at the start? Nope. I enjoy it now. This took me probably a year to get into that mindset that I do like it, and I've then invested in in other things to be able to do it. You know, I can stand in front of a thousand people and give a a talk, no problem. Right now, I'm talking to you through a camera. I'm getting no feedback from you. So it's a different thing and you've got to approach it differently. Because now I've got to pretend that there's a crowd behind this camera and I'm talking to that crowd. <clears throat> Have a look at your leadership skills. And don't be afraid to ask your staff, ask your employees what they think. Because their reaction is going to tell you a lot. I'm going to listen to the words, watch their reaction. And then it's up to you then. Do you accept what could be a hard truth for you? And then do you make those changes in your business for the better? Or do you carry on burying your head in the sand, everything's fine, blah, 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 push on? There's a chip shop down the road from me. I don't go in there often, maybe once every couple of months maybe. Don't think I've seen the same group of people working in there twice. And there's always a sign up in the window, help wanted. And I stood in that chip shop one Saturday evening and I saw chaos. Because the bloke who runs it wasn't leading the team. The team certainly didn't respect him. By the amount of free stuff I got, because I knew he'd piss him off. It was awful. Nobody was given a task to do. Nobody was like you know, a dedicated task that they could do to get the... Because it is one big system. Keep it rolling. One person helps, the other helps, the other helps, the other helps, the other that helps you. You can then focus on the things you want to do. Don't be afraid to tell people to piss off if you've got admin work that needs doing. Sit in your office, sit in wherever it is, stay at home and do it. Because your team should be running your business how you want it to be run. And you should be leading that. Just left people with their own devices, things are going to go wrong. A lot of my clients, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of my clients have burnout because they're doing everything. They've got this if a job needs doing, do it yourself attitude. Well, then why are the people you pay in there? Why are your people going to say, they're not going to turn to you and say, I'll do that? They're getting paid, what, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 quid an hour. <laughs> and you're doing the job for them. They're not going to bloody say, oh, this is wrong. They're going to go, woohoo. It's my wages and I haven't got to do anything. Your business is your business. Make sure it's running properly. Make sure your team is running as a team and it's down to you to take responsibility for that. It's down to you to pick the right people. It's down to you to get rid of the dead weight. It's down to you to get results. It's down to you to look after yourself. Your business will thank you, your family will thank you, and most of all, you'll thank yourself. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Chris Harrison, Mindset Self-Care Focus Therapy. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.